This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We're here today at Slingshot World Headquarters. And I'm here today with Tom Thornton. Tom has been working for Slingshot for... A year and a half. There you go, a year and a half. Tom is uh, one of the Slinger Mobile winners from a while back. That's how we got in contact with each other and how we started communicating. And now here he is working for us. I've been helping Tom get in better shape. He did a powerlifting meet about a uh, six, months, six ago? months ago yeah about six months ago and since that time you've lost 50 pounds 50 pounds now he wasn't a fat guy to begin with but he was trying to push the envelope to try to lift as much weight as possible so when when people hear that you lost 50 pounds why don't you take us back to what you used to look like maybe before you even got here to super training yeah. and, and some of your previous history and experience maybe in sports and uh, things of that nature. I mean, as a kid, when I did sports, I, I used to wrestle, I did football, I ran, and I actually ended up quitting football going into high school because I weighed 89 pounds. <laughs> You've got 200 plus pound high school kids. Like it was just one of those things. Where 89 pounds and you're what, 16? Yeah, I think 16 or 15. I was young for my, my grade, but I had wrestled and I had ran uh, and I kept at that. And then even graduating high school, I was, maybe 135 pounds, maybe 140 pounds. I've always wanted to be bigger. I'm not a tall guy. I'm like 5'8", 5'9", with boots on my Tinder profile. So uh, I've been constantly trying to like gain weight and get bigger. Uh, so when I got here, I was like, you know, maybe 155 pounds, but kind of soft. Mm -hmm. uh, I was working out at my last job, but wasn't as consistent with the diet and the food. So when I got here, I really wanted to, you know, rough things up. I lived in my whole life, but it was kind of just like a, a habit. I wasn't super, you know, intense with it. So I signed up for a powerlifting meet and then decided I wanted to do a big bulk and then the meet was coming up. So it was good to, you know, like, well, I'll gain weight and then I'll also try to get stronger. So I went from probably 150, 155 up to 200 at my heaviest. And I think on comp day, I was like, maybe 193 or something like that. Uh, What'd you lift in the meet? 518 deadlift, 418 squat, and 336 bench. How did that so, feel after coming from being somebody that used to weigh 89 pounds? Yeah, uh, it felt good. When you uh, gained weight for the powerlifting competition, because I think that you maybe went up 20 or 30 pounds since you got here, or maybe even more. I was probably maybe 155, 160. Not as like muscular as I am now. I was definitely softer. And then I got up to 200, so probably 40. How'd you get to 200? I ate the same things every day for 12 months. So it took longer to gain it than to lose it, but I would wake up, protein shake, get to work, eight to 12 hard boiled eggs, just ground beef and rice, more ground beef and rice, ground beef and rice. Like trying to find ways to like tweak it to where uh, if I didn't want to do something, I could find a way around it. So like I didn't want to make 12 eggs in the morning. So I just want to get out of the house and get to work. So I went to Costco and bought the pre hard boiled eggs. Mm. Uh, so I just found ways to like get calories in as conveniently as possible. Let's uh, kind of switch gears a little bit. We got a lot of the history. Now let's kind of bring you guys up to speed. Recently he's lost about 50 pounds and we're going to tune him up for a bodybuilding show. We got him in shape. I basically here at Slingshot, I set up a photo shoot for the end of this month. I did this probably about two months ago. You know, said, hey, anybody that's here can can do it. The whole time I kind of had Tom more in mind than, than anybody else, but I wanted to give Tom a specific goal, something to shoot for. I also saw that uh, Andrew, my podcast engineer, he needed a little extra, and so I was like, Andrew, you know, you should get go into it, because Andrew did a photo shoot a while back. He was very successful with it. He got very lean, got in great shape, and so I thought this could be a good challenge. My brother's going to do it, and Seema's going to do it. I'm sure I'll be ripping my clothes off as well. We got Smokey, we got Jessica, you guys have been following along with uh, some of their story. And so everyone's, you know, kind of after the same thing and it's great to be in this work environment where everyone's working so hard to be jacked and tan. Specifics of the diet, we started you out with, where'd we start you yeah. Started carnivore, strict carnivore for like 10 weeks. And I think that worked great because I had a lot of extra fat to lose. I'd say of the, 45, 50 pounds I gained. I think I maybe put on a solid 15 pounds of muscle, which I was, you know, I think that was great. I shed a lot of the fat off real quick in those uh, 10 weeks. 
my intention, by the way, was to have him do the carnivore diet for like two weeks. But he made progress. I kept checking in with him. And he kept giving me feedback. I was like, how are you feeling? And so forth. And there, there were small tweaks mm -hmm. in there, but, you know, basically it was carnivore diet. And so we just kept riding it out. That's what you want to do. You know, you ever heard anybody say, like, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. So keep, you know, keep moving towards something. If something's working, you know, keep at it. Because if that same formula is working, odds are it's going to continue to work. But you also need to understand that at some point, whatever it is that you're doing will probably stop working and it will probably need, you'll need to gain further knowledge in order to kind of be moved forward. So we took it from the carnivore diet after 10 weeks into. Yeah, then we went into keto for a little while. So, you know, lowering the carbs, keeping the fats high. And then just recently, I'd say maybe in the last month or two, uh, we kind of went into like a bodybuilding diet, lowered the fats, uh, had some moderate carbs and some lean protein, so you know, chicken, ground turkey, that kind of stuff. I've stuck to a lot of chicken just because it's easier to prep. I do enjoy cooking, but sometimes it comes down to like, what's the easiest mm -hmm. thing to do? And uh, I don't mind eating the same thing every day. I do miss going out every once in a while for food because it's the experience, but as far as like what I have for lunch, it doesn't really bother me. So I'd rather just buy a whole bunch of chicken and cook it up. And I want to also add that we could have started with with a bodybuilding diet from the beginning. And we could have started with kind of a uh, eat less, move more approach, which it's always at the center of, of dropping uh, weight in, in some regard. But I think it's important to always have somewhere to go. So you always want to be able to continually make progress. And I think that the human body is, is very smart but I also think it can be like kind of tricky at times and so if we started Tom out on the same diet the entire time I just think the effectiveness would uh, would wear off and then you know in terms of where he was coming from that was also really important and so I had to take that into consideration okay he's coming off a powerlifting diet he's coming off a really extreme bulk even though Tom kind of told me that he doesn't have crazy cravings or anything I just thought to myself you know what it'd be great to for him to feel that this is going to be way different than he was doing uh, in terms of gaining weight and now we're going to kind of strip him of some of those carbohydrates. I didn't want him to feel like crap and so we made sure that we were getting enough calories in and that's why the whole milk was in there and cheese, yogurt, uh, any of those kinds of foods and that way we had a nice amount of calories. He was able to eat a lot each and every day. He was able to still hold on to a lot of strength but as we kept moving forward you sl slowly but surely start to cut things out. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the end of like a bodybuilding cut or bodybuilding prep, which this is kind of similar to that, but it's a just a photo shoot really. Mm -hmm. um, we want to take it as seriously as we can, but there's really also no reason to like cause any harm or have them pass out in the gym or it's just, we're just not there yet. There's not a reason in my opinion to push him that hard. And even even when we do get Tom on stage for a bodybuilding show, we're still gonna be cautious as, as we kind of uh, move into whatever it is we're doing. But right now you got uh, lean sources of protein. What are we doing with carbohydrates right now? Yeah, uh, so I'm utilizing carbs a lot. I'd say like pre and post workout. Uh, so I've been using like some carb powder or just rice cakes. Uh, I do prefer eating my carbs if I can. So I'll have uh, like three to four rice cakes after a workout and then all of my meals have a little bit of rice with them so I'm getting a little bit of carbs throughout the day and then I'm having some post-workout shakes with some protein. As we move forward you know the, the next couple of steps down the road here are going to be to get Tom to kind of increase cardio mm -hmm. and we'll continue to kind of like I guess dry them out and try to get a really uh, hard look. How many days out are we right now from this photo shoot? Seven days. So, Seven days. Yeah, one next Monday. Yeah. So we're just one week away. I really want you guys to continue to follow along with uh, what Tom has been doing. We have, you know, in this video, you're going to see some of the old footage of Tom kind of kicking everything off. We have, you know, luckily we got a lot of uh, a lot of pictures and a lot of videos of Tom making his progress. He, uh, Tom helps me with a lot of products. We have a new product right here that we've been working on. This is called an everyday sleeve. It's a little bit thinner, a little bit slick. But you may have noticed, you know, some of our, our products are advancing and some of our products are, are getting better here at Slingshot. And a lot of that has to do with Tom, having Tom uh, here full time and 
uh, to kind of move us along. I mean, you can kind of see like there, there's just more attention to detail. You know, if you remember before, we just had like a little tag here. Tom's like, hey, we need to get rid of that tag. And like, we need to make it look nice. Let's make it look fancy. And so that's what we're doing. And it's, it's great to have Tom be part of the team. Thank you so much. And it's just great to see his progress. So you guys will see in this video, you're gonna see where he kind of started out, where he is now. I do want you to keep in mind that the 200 pounds that he got to was a forced 200 pounds. Yeah. So I'm not trying to take credit away from anything that he did, but I do want you just to understand, it's like when I went from 330 down, when I started going from 330 down to like 280, and people were like flipping out. But that was really a forced fat guy powerlifting 330 pounds where I was going out of my way to stay that heavy, which is much, much different than somebody who is clinically obese, who really struggles with food. It's, it's a different, although I did get trapped uh, in having food cravings and some of that stuff, uh, I never dealt with uh, the depression and a lot of the other things that people uh, deal with. So I, I just, I want you guys to have, be armed with that information so you can understand that uh, even what we're showing you here, it hopefully is inspiring and motivational to you, but I want you to know all the details about it so you're not thinking like, I'm gonna jump into that and that's yeah. gonna totally work for me because we're all a little bit different. But a lot of the principles we use, a lot of the methods that we use can work for you. What do you think, Tom, is like you know, two, two or three things um, that you needed to uh, be on point with to uh, be in the shape that you're in right now because you're starting to look great you're starting to get really lean you're starting to get really cut what do you think are the things that you uh, have to implement on a daily basis simplicity so with the diet uh, just figuring out the things that I will eat on the diet and then just sticking to them not that I can't switch things up when I want to but for the most part like eating ground beef and rice every day was fine for me because I found a way that made it taste good that I liked I stuck to it I meal prepped every Sunday and it worked and then I just I treat lifting like a uh, routine so it, like brushing my teeth it's one of those things where some days I'm fired up to go to the gym and that's awesome and I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna have a lot of fun but it's really not an option to not work out if it's unless it's a rest day like if I'm not feeling I'm still yeah, gonna go in. Yeah, we talked before about like, hey, just here and there, take a day off. But yeah. for the most part, yeah. Yeah, just just go in, and once you get going, a lot of times it's you're good good to roll. You know, especially if it's with you or Chris mm -hmm. or you know anyone in their powerlifting, uh, you know, will get you fired up. My dad always used to say, you know, life finds a way of giving you like rest days. So when you plan rest days and then something happens, now you rested way too much. So I try to hit the gym, you know, more days than not. You have to, you know, it's not an easy thing to be self-motivated. I think that you probably had that, you know, since you were young. I've had that since I was young, but it is something that uh, I always worked on. Um, I, maybe I didn't have to work at it as hard as the next person uh, because just like Tom, I'm very fortunate. I come from a great family and I didn't have a lot of weird external stuff to think about. Mm -hmm. All I had to think about was being a kid and I had the luxury of even playing sports and thinking about sports and so that stuff has been really huge for me to help build uh, these disciplines. I hope through this video, I hope that you guys will see the discipline, the dedication. I hope you'll be motivated and fired up and most importantly, I hope that you can understand that you have the ability to do this too. I know that you might be thinking, well, he's got the people's coach, you know, uh, holding his hand and, and walking him, walking him through it. And yeah, it is, it is a fortunate situation to be in, to, to have somebody that can assist you. I was assisted by one of the, one of the all-time greats in uh, the history of bodybuilding coaching, uh, Hani Rambad. And then I also have, you know, friends like Jay Cutler and Stan Efferding, and I got these great people. Before we head on out of here, I want to also mention that Tom is a bodybuilding fan. So I'm going to put Tom on the spot right here, right now, <laughs> and ask him who his favorite bodybuilder is. Frank Zane, hands down, best of all time. All right, well, I'm going to get out of the way because Tom <laughs> is going to do his best I mean, rendition uh, of Frank Marcel. Zane. <laughs> Leave the pants on. You guys let me know if this gets weird. In the comments below, take your pants off. Oh. Turn off wow. the lights. Look at those pecs. How Getting much there. do you weigh? Uh, 112 pounds. Those are pretty damn big pecs. There we go, there's a the bicep. It's got a little bit of Christmas tree coming through here. 
Some good density, some good triceps. Flex those triceps again for us, let's see. There we go, see the triceps through here. Some good development going on here. Got good bicep coming in here. You can see the brachialis, the separation. See the shoulder, his shoulder's popping. That wasn't even popping the other day. It was popping right now and he's got the line right here. So we don't know when, we don't know when, uh, but we will uh, prep Tom for a bodybuilding show um, probably within the next couple, in the next couple weeks, we'll try to figure out when there's an actual bodybuilding show. Um, but might have to do it out of state, might have to get him out the hell out of California. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got uh, a lot of great information from it. Strength is never weakness, weakness is never strength. Catch y'all later.